Hello everybody, Mistorm here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Online Shadowbringers. In the last episode, we worked on a bunch of side quests in Amarang and Mord Suk. And did some work for a lot of the Mord there. And then at the end of the episode, we met Tesleen, who is apparently a friend of Alice, who has heard a lot about us from Alice. And who is going to go ahead and escort us to where Alice has been working as a guard. So hopefully we'll be meeting up with Alice soon. But as you can see, we are not in Amarang at the moment. We're back in the Crystarium. Because there is one thing that I wanted to do here before heading back over there. And that is one of these side quests here. Now, we do have several side quests in this area, but I'm probably not going to do most of these on screen. Because a lot of these are just kind of run around town and get to know the Crystarium quests. So, I mean, I'll probably, you know, I'll do them off screen. But, um, yeah, not going to worry about them actually live. Now, there is one here that I wanted to get because it has the important unlock uh, icon there. Uh, nuts to you is the name of the quest So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at that And Oh, it's over there Hold on. All right, here's a Hume Lout Alright, the human lot thinks you might be the right person for a questionable job, alright? Oh, you're that, um, you're that, you're her, aren't you? Haldor's been asking after you, you know Haldor, you aye? Clan Nutsies, man? If you're keen to hunt the deadliest marks for the biggest bounties, then you might want to seek him out. You'll find him by the board over in the rookery, though, uh, if I were you... I'd steer clear of that whole nasty business. Bad for one's health, it is. Ah, so this is the, the hunt system here. Yeah, go ahead over there and unlock that. The rookery, right? Yep. Okay, there's Haldor. Haldor? Hall door. Uh, could it be the esteemed warrior herself? Well met, miss. Well met. You are a very hard woman to track down, by all accounts. Yet here you are, in the flesh. How very blessed I am to make your acquaintance. I am a hall door of Clan Nutsy. Perhaps you have heard of us. We have certainly heard of you. I can tell you that. A fighter through and through. I'll come right to it. Interested in joining the clan? Apologies, apologies. Only a fool would sign up without knowing what we're about. And you're no fool, I can see that. The clan is, uh, how shall I put it, an association of adventurous souls who make a living, living hunting certain notable fiends. Marks, as we are wont to call them. Surely you're familiar with the concept? Indeed I am. Norvrand is home to myriad living creatures, many of which pose a threat to her good people. Thus did the Exarch, at least I think it was him, in his boundless wisdom, call upon the Settlement Council to develop a framework that would encourage motivated hunters to dispatch these menaces. To wit, ye brave souls who slay Mark shall receive due compensation. Not at all a bad arrangement, eh? If you've a mind to reap the benefits, speak with Zyle over there. She'll record your name in the ledger and see you registered as a clan member. Okay. Let's talk to uh, Zyle. Right. May I help you, miss? At the urging of Haldor, was it? I see. You are plainly more than capable of acquitting yourself well enough in battle, and so I have no grounds to refuse you. I hereby accept your application to join Clan Nutsy. Uh, check the board for the latest bills. The tougher the mark, the better the reward. Hunt when you like, or nothing at all. However, you may only undertake hunts designed appropriate for a member of your current status, a novice. The clan is disinclined to allow unproven hunters to commit suicide by mark. 
Uh, once you have achieved a sufficient measure of success, you will be permitted to pursue more dangerous fiends. Do not try to die before then. Alright. Or do try not to die. I think that may be the better way. Alright, Clan Nazi Hunts now available. As a new member of Clan Nazi, you're permitted to take bills for one nut clan marks from the Clan Hunt board. And we reward with tokens, which can be exchanged for items. Yes, okay. So here is the nuts board. We'll go ahead and get the one nut clan marks. Just so that if we see them out there, um, as we are doing our business, that we can take care of them. I just need to make some arrangements on some of my bars that are off the recording screen. One star veterans, one nut clan marks. Actually, I'll go ahead and put that over here on one of these bars. There we go. Alright, so we need to head back out to Amarang. Mordsuk. And actually, there was one other side quest that was available that I might want to go ahead and do before... Oh wait, there's a, there's a... There's a quest here. Work to live or live to work. And also there's a quest over there. So I definitely want to grab those before we talk to Tesslene. Alright, Gengen. Gen. Ah, this is going to give an, an ether current. And Gengen Gen is fidgeting even more than usual. Alright. Uh, greetings, friend. You like helping people, yes? Maybe you can help me too. You see, my son Gun Gun makes me very proud, but very worried. He works very hard, too hard for his own good. He follows orders, yes, follows them until someone tells him to stop. This is very dangerous, bad for his health. I need you to speak with him, persuade him to rest. He should be near the Red Sarai, probably leaving no stone unturned in a search for relics. Please, tell him his father orders him to stop. Very well. That is actually in the direction that I'm going to be heading. So, perfect. Go ahead and cross the bridge here. Try to avoid as much of the local wildlife as we can. Well, we got a couple on us. Alright. Let's get over here next to Gun Gun. Okay, they've broken off. Alright, let's hunt the Gun Gun. <sighs> search the nooks, search the crannies, search high, search low. Oh, sorry. I did not see you there. Are you lost? Father says I must rest. That will not do. No, no. I will stop, but not yet. I need something to show for my efforts. All this scrabbling, all this searching, and still no shinies. Hmm. You came here to tell me to stop, but if I refuse, your job will not be finished, will it? That will not do either. Wait. I have an idea. If you help me find shinies, my job will be over, your job will be over, and I can rest. Simple, yes?
Look under that rubble and find whatever there is to be found. Maybe it will be valuable, maybe not. Either way, let us keep searching until we get at least one shiny. So, searching for shinies. What is this, Pokemon? <laughs> Alright, well, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Uh... This guy over here has another side quest for us. So maybe we can knock out two of these at once. Alright, Thay Moth. Alright. That Gingin worries about his son more than is healthy for either of them, but perhaps I'm not so different. I had leave I had to leave my daughter behind in the Crystarium while I oversee trade with Mordsuk, and not been back for some time. I'd like to send her a gift to let her know we haven't forgotten about her. Only thing is, I have no idea what young women are interested in these days. I'd ask the others, but I don't want them to think I'm doting on her. I was wondering if you could find out more. Uh, Larote over there has a daughter about the same age as mine. I expect she'll know what would make uh, for a decent present. Okay. I can ask. Alright, a gift for a young lady. Let me guess. Thamoth sent you to ask me, didn't he? Bingo. We all know how much he misses the, that girl of his. He tries to put on a brave face, but deep down he's a big softy. Anyway, in answer to your question, the Mord make the most beautiful jewelry from precious stones and valuable relics excavated here in Amarang. I'll bet you don't see many of those around the Crystaria. How about something like that? Alright. Mord jewelry? I'll admit, uh, that never would have occurred to me. But it's a fine choice. From what I recall, Gingin deals in wares like that. If I write a letter to him, would you be so kind as to deliver it to Mord Suk? I'll leave the particulars to him, since I don't know the first thing about gems and whatnot. Oh, and by the way, you don't suppose Lorot, uh, caught on, do you? She did. Bloody hells, nothing gets past her. I might as well ask her myself next time, but I appreciate your help. Yes, you might as well. Okay, so that's back in at Gingin, back in Mordsuk. So we'll hold off on that one for now. All right, let's see if we can find any shinies for Gun Gun. All right, nothing there. Nope, nothing there. And we found a signet ring. There we go. Oh, Chocobo, Chocobo decided to take a break. That's fine, we're not fighting anything right now. Alright, gun gun. I believe we found something. What did you find? Not more rubble, I hope. Nope, got this. Oh, this looks very special. Such pretty patterns. I have never seen one like this before. But how much is it worth? I'm an expert in finding shinies, not a historian. Perhaps we should ask someone. Once we sell it, we will divide the profits between us. We worked as a team, so half for you, half for me. Fair is fair. All right, and that gets us that ether current. But we also have another quest. Gun gun is still by the signet ring you have discovered. Such a pretty ring, almost too precious to sell. Almost. We'll ask a friend of my father's how much it is worth. He's a good man, we can trust him. Well, as much as we can trust anyone that my father would call a friend. Anyway, let us meet in Mord Suk. Once we have done, we can discuss your reward. All right. Only thing sweeter than a handful of shinies is a purse full of jingleys. Alright. 
So, back to Mordsuk. Just teleport over. Alright, so, gun gun. Actually, let's turn in over here first. We have Gingin. Alright. Oh, welcome back. I take it everything went well with Thamoth? Yep. And he has some questions. A letter. Hmm. Uh, jewelry, daughter, crystarium. Um, I see. Yes, I know just the thing. The scavengers have found some nice necklaces we can use. Old, but shiny. I'll have it ready in a jiffy, then my son can take care of the, of the delivery. Before I forget, please accept this as payment for all your hard work. You have certainly earned it. Perfect. Good. Alright. Gin Gin, or Gun Gun. Right, Gun Gun. Alright, very close he is this way. Let's just uh, talk to that Amro Porter. All right, scrupulous trader. Here we go. What have you got for me today? I'm not sure, but it is a very lovely shiny. Here, take a look. Let me see. My word, this is exquisite. Judging by the sigil, I'd say this originates from Nabath Areng. You'll need to find an expert in that period to ascertain its true value, though. You mean you do not know? Sorry, Gun Gun, but the chap with the with the cart near the south gate might be able to help. White hair, smells of cabbage. Then we shall ask him. Thank you for your adv kind advice. Smells like cabbage, eh? He should be easy to find in that case. Ugh. Well, if it's like fresh cabbage, that's not terrible. But if it's like cook, cooking cabbage, that that does smell pretty bad. <sighs> All right, antiquities dealer. Alright, may I help you? Please tell us what this old ring is worth. Ho oh, ho, I have not seen one of these in a very long time. Well, what is it? There's no simple ring. See that sigil? Used to seal letters, it was. The owner must have been someone quite important. But you'd best speak with Jamal if you want to know who it belonged to. If you want to know about crests and such, he is the one to ask. Yeah, not again. I just want my jinglies. Hopefully, Jamal will be the last one we have to ask. All right. Over here. And there's Jamal. Or Jamiel? Jamiel. That must probably be better pronunciation of the name. Alright, now what could you two spry younglings need from an old man like me? We want to know how much we can get for this signet ring. Please tell us. The suspense is killing me. Where did you get this? It belonged to a Malik of Nabath Ring. Oh, that sounds very valuable indeed. So, how much? To a historian, it is priceless. In all likelihood, there's only one such ring in existence. 
though I am afraid that to the layman unversed in ancient sigils is worth no more than any other signet of similar age. Anyone in Nabatharang with even a modicum of wealth would, would have had one bearing their mark. So it is priceless, priceless, but also not worth very much? I am confused. Looks like we will not be rolling in riches after all. I'm very sorry to have dragged you around Mord Souk for nothing. But we always but as we always say, no such thing as a thing no one needs, and hard work is its own reward. Something like that anyway. While your coin purse may be no heavier than before, you have earned an important lesson. I learned an important lesson, at least, I think so. Well, our coin purse did get a little bit heavier. Alright, looks like Gun Gun still has more quests for us. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to him. Alright, now the business with the ring is over, I should rest as I said I would. Then your promise to my father will be fulfilled. Uh, actually, there is something I should like to discuss with you. I am in no rush, however, so let us speak again after your repose. Ah, my curiosity is piqued. Please, you must tell me now. I can rest while I listen. Oh, well, if you insist. I would like to you to help me search for more relics in Nabatha Ring. If my suppositions are correct, I know where many such artifacts are waiting to be uncovered. I base this claim on my knowledge of the route chosen by the Malik when he led his people's exodus from the Flood of Light. Although many tried to make take their most prized possessions with them, it soon became apparent that such burdens would only hinder their escape. Each household discarded their personal treasures one piece at a time. By following the exact path traveled from Nabath of Rang, we would be able to unearth many more priceless treasures. What say you? Will you lend me your aid? Of course. And now that I have finished resting, I am ready to start digging. You are quite sure? I am. Ayami, you should come too. You have already found one of these shinies. Maybe you can find some more. Uh, you will be amply re -renumer uh, remunerated. Okay. For your efforts, even if there are no profits to be made from the sale of the items themselves. I too am a proponent of the motto, honest pay for honest work. You should go before my father tries to stop me. Honestly, there is no such thing as working too hard. Oh wait, where are we going? Uh, the first location is the east of the inn at Journey's Head. Allow me to lead the way. Okay. So where is it? It's way down there. Okay. So that's something we're going to be doing probably a bit later. as we progress through the various other quests that are available. But I think first and foremost, we're going to go ahead and talk to Tesleen, because I think she's going to lead us in that direction anyway. So, I don't want to be, you know, having a trek all the way back up here. All right. Uh, Tesleen is standing here holding this box this whole time. Alright, all set. Oh, I should probably mention the wildlife. Uh, while most of them will leave you be if you keep your distance, the local coyotes have learned to prey on folk heading home from the markets. I can usually swing a sword well enough to fend them off, but I may have loaded myself down with too many bargains today. Do you think you can handle any beasts that try to make a meal of us? That shouldn't be a problem. Alright, I thought you might. Alice was always saying how much you... Um, I mean, let's get going, shall we? Uh, what was Alice saying? Alright. Alright, first location is up ahead. We have a purple circle. And a sand mole has decided to come to play. Well... We'll see if it wants to stick around or it's going to head back. It's going to head back. All right. Ah! 
deal with this coyote. There we go. Alright, sorry, there wasn't much time to shout a warning. Were you bitten? Those things can be nasty. And yet hardly a match for you, it seems. I'd always thought L.A.C. was strong, but in her mind, she was never... Hmm. Now it makes sense. Um, well, we should push on. It might be best if you scout ahead and clear out any coyotes that have our scent. I'll wait here so you can fight without any distractions. Very well. On to the next spot. And you may notice that I have the battle music turned off. Because while I absolutely love the zone music in this expansion, I don't really care for the battle theme. So I, I turned it off. Okay. All right, we need to go back to Tesslane there. But all in all, the, the music in this expansion is just absolutely amazing. Now let's deal with this guy. Unfortunately, this isn't a hunt target. Okay. Tesleen? Oh, thank goodness you're back. I could hear the howling and snarling from here. Frightful creatures. Let's hope the rest have seen your handiwork and uh, know to avoid us now. I need to get these supplies back to the inn. All right. Alright, this is it. Thanks to you, I didn't have to drop my shopping even once. Uh, come to think of it, I'm glad I didn't make the trip alone. It seems you ended up escorting me. I'll have to repay the favor somehow, but first, let's head inside, shall we? Welcome to the Inn at Journey's Head. You might be our first visitor from the Crystarium since Alice arrived. It's not much, but it's home for the afflicted and a handful of carers. Uh, the afflicted? You don't know? I don't think I've met anyone besides Alice who is so unfamiliar with our situation here. Most folk have grown up knowing someone who knew someone. Hmm, I might leave out something obvious, so it may be best to have Alice give you the full explanation.
All right. Well, let's see. That side quest is just nearby. <coughs> Excuse me. But let's go ahead and talk to Tesseline first, pick up this quest, and then we'll see where that's going to take us. All right, Tesseline, cast her gaze around the inn, hoping to spot Alice. Now, where is she? Hmm, I think she might be out on patrol. Uh, you could wait, I suppose, but why not go and surprise her? She usually takes a look at things from the watchtower first, so you might be able to catch her there. It's not far. Head out to the south side and you'll soon see it. I'll stay behind in case she comes back while you're gone. Alright. So, first things first... Let's go ahead and hit this side quest, since it's closer. Alright, let's see what these guys are up to. Alright, as I recall, there should be a few artifacts scattered around this area. The first items to be discarded were those of little value or simply too cumbersome to be carried over long distances. However, we can assume that many were buried so that they could be recovered later. Therefore, it seems logical that landmarks, such as large outcrops and so forth, would be used to indicate their position. Less talking, more digging. I want to find the Chinese. Alright, let's see what we can find. All right, looks like we found something. Let's talk to Gun Gun. Hmm, lots of lovely shinies over here. What have you got? I found a dirt encrusted shield. Oh, a great big shiny. Is this a dinner plate? Jamiel, what is this? A heraldic shield. The five coins above a castle represent each of the great houses of Nabath Reng. Coins? Is that because they were rich? Precisely. The capital attracted trade from across Norvrant, and much of the wealth found its way into their coffers. Such a booming economy was not built overnight, however. Although Nabath Reng was largely established by Humes, the harsh desert environment meant that they had to rely on the aid of neighboring peoples. It was the Mord who taught them how to safely traverse the barren plains, methods for finding sustenance, and much besides. They were also respected partners in matters of commerce. The Nevath owed a great deal to your ancestors, Gun Gun. I never knew. History is all around us if we know where to look, which reminds me, the next location I would like to search is not far from here. This way, if you please. All right, where is that taking us? Down there? Here they are. Alright, I have reason to believe that more artifacts are resting beneath these ruins. Please take the utmost care with any that you discover, as some may be fragile. Alright, let's see what we find. Alright, nothing but bricks and sand. Have you had better luck? We found a sand caked statue. I know what this is. A decorative Mord's head sculpture. Making these is one of our many traditions. But what is it doing here?
You may surmise that it was once kept by the in the pristine palace of Ammalik. It once housed tokens of friendship from allied peoples. That the Malik brought such gifts f so far from Nabath the Ring is proof of their cultural significance. However, when the Nabath and the Mord first came into contact, there were many disagreements. Hmm, I do not understand. We Mord hate arguing. The art of negotiation is another one of our many traditions. Yes, I dare say there was a decisive factor in these des disparate peoples finding common ground. And yet the Mord live on while the Nabath are no more. Hopefully we'll undercover yet more valuable insights to the past at our final excavation site. And may I say, your work thus far has been nothing short of exemplary. Uh, please, save your thanks when we have finished. There is much still to be done. More treasures to be found. Hey, level up. Here we go. Let's grab the next stage of this quest chain from... Semi-auto Malik. Okay. I want to dig, dig, dig. Where's the next spot, Jam Jamiel? West from here, close to the Nabath uh, Severance. Then what are we waiting for? Must hurry, must hurry. All right. So there we are. But what I think we'll go ahead and do is actually head back into the journey, the inner journey's head here, because I did not attune to the Aetherite, like I should have. Because that could get annoying. And then what we'll probably do is call this an, an episode here, and then we'll continue working on this quest chain and see if we can meet up with Ali Say probably uh, next episode. So, for now, we'll end here, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.